As you may hear in the background noise, I'm still at SPS IBC Drives show in Nuremberg. I'm now at the booth of Contron and I'm together with Paul Martin. He is Global Technology Manager HMI and uh, we're talking about Contron's HMI product line update. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Um, we're going to cover the, uh, today the, uh, the new HMI product line from Contron um, that we're launching this year at the uh, 2013 SPS show. Uh, the very first product we'll cover is uh, the Omni Client, which is the uh, the flagship of all of our HMI products. It's a um, it's a it's a brand new product that we we started launching last year, and we've completed the whole product line this year. The Omni Client, uh, as an overview, comes in the three screen sizes. They're all widescreen and a 16:9 ratio uh, to aspect ratio. Uh, the display size is uh, 21.5, 18.5, 15.6, and all in the PCAP, which, which is projected capacitive, um, which gives it a, an enhanced sensitivity and enhanced resolution. Um, the, the, the legacy units used to be a resistive touch, and resistive touch tends to be fading out across the industry. Um, so Contron, uh, to, drive the, to drive the industry, is adopting the PCAP across most of its product. Uh, the, uh, the, the main processing uh, unit is actually an, an i5 or an i7 using the second generation Sandy Bridge um, or also the fourth generation uh, Haswell uh, i7 and i5 processors. Uh, we base it upon a motherboard uh, which is a mobile motherboard with a KTQM67 and the KTQM87 which is a brand new motherboard from Contron. Uh, all products are available uh, to mount either in a panel mount or also as a visa mount. They can also uh, be powered with an AC or a DC power supply. Uh, the, the options are also include a hard drive, uh, solid state drives or M-sated solid state drives. The, uh, the operating system is something we're particularly proud of because we offer one of the widest range of operating systems. Basically every single operating system that you can, you can have, you can have Windows 7 Ultimate, um, Windows 8, XP, XP Embedded, Linux Embedded, um, and all of these are available off the shelf. So what would you see are the most popular operating systems for such kind of application? Um, currently right now, I mean, what, what we're seeing is our Windows 7 Ultimate, it's because it's multilingual, um, it's, everyone's used it before, it's, it's industry standard across the product. Windows 8 started off being quite popular and it will probably grow in, in popularity. Uh, but a lot of people are sort of backing away from Windows 8 until they find out, you know, on their normal computers what, what's happening. So um, the, we do offer it though, we offer it in a full multi-touch capability. Um, in order to be a, a Windows 8 compliant machine, you have to have a minimum of 11 touches on it. So all of our displays are actually Windows 8 compliant, meaning you can have eight fingers moving, uh, 11 fingers rather, moving um, objects, images, um, 3D models all around the, uh, our unit using 11 fingers. Um, what, one of the other things as well about our, our products is that they all come with the options of uh, RFID, Wi-Fi, uh, a 5 megapixel 1080i camera. Um, the other thing that we also offer as well is that if you built, if you look at all of our configurations and all of our options, we have 1,800 different options on the Omni Client line. So there's quite a lot of SKUs that are available. Um, under the uh, Omni Client product. Uh, one of the things that we're particularly proud of with the Omni Client is that we've reached the finals of the 2014 Engineers' Choice Awards. This means that we're um, put against seven of our competition. And uh, in my personal opinion, I, I think the Omni Client will actually win it because it's it's a far superior product. So it's. Uh, <laughs> So, who are your major competitors? Not for these awards, but in the market. Really. Sure. Um, basically, Advantec is the is the industry uh, in our direct competition line. The, um, we have other ones, but like Aeon. But really, Advantec are the ones that are the, the, the biggest challenge that we've had. And, and obviously, they, their flagship is the one that we gauged our flagship on. So, it's if I look side by side, it's. The, uh, the Omni Client is a very, very strong position to win this award. Okay. Um, that award is actually presented in March of uh, 2014 with the awards. The winners announced in February, so I'm looking forward to going to that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, the I/O panel um, on the uh, the uh, Omni client. Uh, on the right hand side, it, 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 it leads with the power supply. Uh, the AC one you can see is actually in this image uh, with a power switch. It's uh, it's available with European power cords, American power cords, British power cords. Uh, the DC one looks slightly different with the fact that the DC actually has a terminal block um, and you actually connect into the terminal block as opposed to a connector. Um, above, above the uh, power supply unit, um, we have a, a one-slot PCIe um, expansion. Um, that can be populated with anything inside and it's, and it's very easily ad adapted uh, by the customer, by any of our distribution centers, by ourselves. Uh, we take off one cover off the top and we can put in any of the expansion slots. Uh, next to that, next to the power supply, there's two punch-outs. Uh, those punch-outs we can mount a 232, 422, or 45 port connectors, which is one of our options. The, uh, to the left of it, you can see all the connections that are on the, uh, the Mini ITX uh, uh, KTQM67 or the KTQM87. The, uh, we have a, a wide range of Ethernet, um, USBs, uh, USB 2.0 and 3.0. We have our data ports, we have DVI, and we have audio. So all the standard connections are available. Along with uh, above that, there's a uh, large cooling surf, uh, large cooling duct because it is a fan unit currently. The next slide goes through um, all of our options that are available. Uh, the three screen sizes are shown across the top: the 15.6, um, the 18.5, and the 21.5. All are available uh, currently, and uh, all have multiple, multiple options. So you can go down and configure them exactly how you want. We have a set number of, of units available right now, which are configured a certain way, uh, and are available. The, um, our goal is to basically give a unit in the customer's hand, in the prototype you know, level, um, within two weeks. Uh, the data sheet for the Omni client is uh, it's, uh, it's, it makes very interesting reading because when you look at it side by side with our previous legacy units or our competition, it's, it, it, it shows basically how we've grown as a company in, in, in the HMI world. Um, we used to have a wide offering before, but it, it never really came together as a family. And, and now we're actually bringing the HMI group as a family. They'll have the same looks, the same feel, the same rugged you know, an industrial look, the same feel, um, the same functionality. It's, it's, it's actually very, very exciting that we haven't got multiple looks, multiple fields, multiple finishes. It's, it's going to be one look and one feel. Um, the, uh, the certifications, we are CE and UL certified. Um, the, the IO, as we talked about, we're, they, they, they all qualify to uh, within norm uh, industry standard. So the, the temperature range is within norm. It's, it's the, uh, the shock and vibes all within norm. So we, we, we try to sort of like push it to the point where within, within reason, we can, uh, we can have an industry standard product without, without ex exceeding the boundaries of, of any function. Uh, I'm gonna redo that one, I'm not gonna say that. So I'll redo that slide. So we redo the Omni Client system data sheet? Yeah. Okay. Um, the OmniClient data sheet um, covers the, the product line as it stands right now. It details out all the options that are available um, and the standard products as well. The, uh, it also shows out that we actually see qualified and UL qualified along with all the shock and vibe and altitude constraints that we actually we do meet and or exceed. Um, all of our products are ROAS compliant and ROAS 2 compliant is, a, is something that we're going for as well. The only thing that drives uh, the ROAS compliance right now is the fact that the motherboard is, is a ROAS and not ROAS 2. The new motherboard is ROAS 2, so it will become a ROAS 2 compliant machine as well. Um, one of the features of the uh, Omni client is the, uh, is the functionality that we can actually take the CPU section off the back of it and make it either into a touch monitor or we can make it into a remote solution, which is very similar to a desktop computer. Um, which we actually call uh, the Omni Remote and the Omni View. So the Omni View is the uh, monitor solution. 
and it's available in the three different sizes. So we have the 15.6 size, the 18.5 size, and the 21.5 size. Um, they're all Visa mount um, and all available right now. The the touch solution is, is, is basically exactly the same as what it is on the Omni client, so it's a PCAP. Um, and the only the only change would be the, the 24 volt input to it. Yeah, we have a DVI input, a display port input, um, and a VGA input as standard. Uh, on the next slide, you can actually see the options that are available. The, the, the product as a monitor, the, there are, there are no real options available. The only, the only option is really this, the size of the monitor. It's very similar when you buy a monitor from anyone else. Um, the next slide details out um, what the what the I/O is. The uh, the I/O is it's it's, it's comprehensive. It's, there's there's not really many people in the world that couldn't either connect to a a VGA input, a DVI, or a, a data port, a display port rather. We have two power inputs that are available. There's a DC power jack, uh, very similar to what you would find on most laptops and most um, most handheld computers. The, uh, and also we have a power Molex, which basically is a locking device that, that actually, in, in an industrial environment, rather than have a jack that may unplug, uh, this is actually a locking connector, so it will never come undone. The USB-B is the one that it's, uh, it drives the, the touch solution. So if the customer would actually like uh, the, the touch panel to work, um, all you do is connect that to the, uh, the CPU section, and you have a remote touch solution. which brings us nicely to the remote solution. Um, one of the ways that we're demonstrating the, the functionality of, uh, of the Omni client is actually presented as a simulator, a gaming simulator, where we would have three Omni views um, being driven by the one Omni client um, rear section. Uh, we've actually uh, built these units now and they've they're actually been presented at the Las Vegas gaming show uh, where a lot of our customers have come along and sat down and raced around Le Monde and raced around um, you know, Monaco. Um, it's, it's, it's a good way of demonstrating the full graphics capability that's available as well. Once we load on a high-end graphics card, we have the, the, the seven to one sound, it's, and a full graphics representation of a Formula One racing card. So. Uh, but this is more like a demonstration rather than a serious application, or is it? Um, it's actually a serious application as well. I mean, you, you, we have gaming companies that actually yeah. would like to buy the okay. Omni client and actually start presenting. But it, it really is just to demonstrate what the Omni client can do in the remote solution. Um, the, 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 the true functionality of, or the true representation of what the Omni remote would be used for would be where the display can be um, next to the machine, but the processor is, is, is protected away, you know, but maybe underneath the machine, under a, an access panel. So it's not in the extreme environment that the display would be in. Uh, because the rear section is our, only an IP60, uh, IP20, um, uh, which is egress protection, there may be a high humidity, high smoke, dust, so you want to protect that one. Um, but the, the front panel is actually an IP65, which means you can spray with water, etc. And this is a lot more fun than putting it on a machine. Uh, basically, the, the, Omni, uh, the Omni remote is, has all the functionality of the Omni client and all the functionality of the Omni view, um, just for the fact that it is actually an Omni view connected to an Omni client CPU section. On the, uh, the system layout slide, we uh, detail out basically how the, uh, the Omni view can be connected to the Omni client rear section. It doesn't actually have to be the Omni client rear section Rick, to be an Omni remote. It can be one of our box PCs. So it, it, we're starting to bring in the other product lines of, of Contron. We've brought in the boards, we've brought in the software, software and now we're bringing in the, uh, the box PCs where we can have a, a C101 or a B101 driving the Omni view. Um, because it's a conduction cooled, it's a, it's a fanless box PC, it's it's a lot. It's you know withstand a higher in, uh, environmental you know stress factor, uh, and then we have the Omni View, which is also once again the IP65. Um, we have the two cables connected to. We're actually changing it to one connector, um, so we'll have one cable, uh, which will also route 
the DVI cable, which is the vision, uh, the, the, the actual the, the signal, if you like, to the OmniView, and also the Cat5, which is only used for the USB, which is a um, at the touch. So, if you only want the touch and, and the and the uh, the vision, then you have both those cables. If you want just the actual vision itself, just to be used as a monitor, then you only connect the DVI or the data port, uh, the display port. Um, that, that brings us very nicely to the uh, the micro client. The, the micro client um, three and the micro client three W three W standing for um, widescreen is uh, is the mid range uh, HMI product line. It's uh, it's one that's uh, been around for a while in different forms. We've had the micro client one, micro client one A, two, two A, and now we've evolved to the three and the three the three W. Um, so the micro client three three W. Is uh, the the mid range, uh, mid entry range, with 15.6, uh, 16.9 ratio, uh, projected capacitive, along with uh, four resistive touch, uh, in the 10 10 inch to 17 inch range, in the 4.3 um, uh, normal aspect ratio. The uh, the 15.6 wide screen, um, it's it also comes from the uh, the Omni client. Um, it's available. Um, you can either mount it with a micro client rear or an omni client rear, um, giving the customer an option about whether he wants a high end computing solution with a lower end display or a higher end display with a lower end computing solution. Um, and you can see on, uh, on the slide 23, there's actually a, um, uh, that we have a silver uh, looking uh, micro client and we have the uh, omni client black edge one. Uh, both are available, um, so you can have one that with this with the silver surround and you can have one with the black surround both have RFID both have Wi-Fi um, they, they both would be driven whatever processor you want whether it's the Atom processor or whether it's the Intel processor we can see that um, we have the uh, five screen sizes across the top the the, uh, the options that are available for the micro client are actually a lot limited uh, a lot less than what the Omni client is the, the micro client is a um, it's designed to be extremely user-friendly extremely customer oriented you know you, you buy it you get it it works it's, um, there's not much you can do to it it's it's a plug-and-play type machine uh, all of the uh, the Omni client and the micro client uh, all the HMI product line are all designed to be a global entity uh, meaning that we are CE and UL qualified so it's it's regardless of where you are in the world you should be you're certified and you, you meet all the compliance requirements um, the, the micro client data sheet um, shows exactly what options are available and what, what certifications we have you can see once again we meet all the, the standard industry requirements of the shock vibe altitude temperature it's um it's a very robust little computer it's a very robust compu computer solution uh, for the hmi product line um, and that, that's basically it, the way, the way Contron stands right now. The HMI product line, it's, um, it's coming together to be a very complete product line. There's, um, there's not much we can't offer to a, con uh, to a customer. Um, there's not much we can't do. So it's, um, that's where we are with HMI. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. <laughs>